Welcome. Welcome to the We Robot Party. As you can see, I just uh, arrived in the RoboTaxi, the cyber cab. There's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been traveling. They're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. So you'll see Model Ys and the cyber cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> so we want to, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price, because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from a, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. We do expect, actually, to, to start a fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the cyber cab, that, which is really um, hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, to, in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> when, you, when you get in, you'll see like it's really quite a, wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no controls, and it feels great. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the RoboTaxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So yeah, it's kind of how it should be. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The, the Reboven. The Reboven is, uh, this is, a, we, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city, uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. Everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. So the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, you know, it'll take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, uh, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for I think probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and, and and what can it do? It can it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of. It will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind.